stuff away rather than add things, for sure. We tried to minimise the risk, but there's no doubt about it. It was, um, it was something that, uh, that, that did come with some risk. So, do we respond better to more or less choice? To find out, I'm meeting consumer psychologist Paul Marsden. Paul? Oh, Greg? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. What are we doing here this morning? We're going to do a psychological experiment on choice, whether people like more choice or less choice when they're out shopping. That's quite obvious, isn't it? They want more choice, don't they? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> Grace Crump runs a jam stall at Greenwich Market, offering a range of 24 different flavours of jam. Grace, can I ask you why so many? I kind of feel that people like choice. And so having a wide range might, you know, encourage people to buy. First, we're going to see how much jam Grace sells in 90 minutes with all 24 flavours on offer. Then we'll limit the options. Then we're going to reduce the number of flavours of jam out there to just six and see whether that has any impact on how many she sells. My husband has always said to me, you have far too many flavours. Oh, so maybe this is the ideal opportunity to maybe prove him wrong. First up, the large selection of jams. So I've got mulberry with crab apple and there's some traditional marmalades. The 24 flavours seem to be attracting a bit of attention. Have you ever tried mulberry jam? No, I haven't. OK, have a good day. No jam sale there, mate. Nope. See, they must have been interested, otherwise they wouldn't have stopped. I've got the strawberry with rose petal. And it looks like we've got a sale. Was it easy to make a choice? Oh, actually not, but it's better to have a choice. Or is it? It's time to reduce Grace's range of jams to just six flavours. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. Did you buy some jam? Yes, I did. Wouldn't you have rather had more choice? I think there's a lot of choice there. What about if we offered you 22, 23 different, different choices? Wouldn't you prefer well, that? Well, then I'd be standing here all day reading them, wouldn't I? <laughs> After a morning on the market, Grace has sold 50% more jams when she had less on offer. And it's a result that echoes the findings of similar large-scale experiments. You did sell more with a smaller range. Do you think your husband might have been right then, that you, you had too many? Yes, begrudgingly, yes. Yeah. Psychology tells us that we buy more when there is less on offer. Well, there's a theory in psychology called ego depletion, that the brain is a bit like a battery and it runs out. And you've basically got only a certain amount of decisions you can make during the day. And after that time, you tend to make bad decisions. So the idea is, is that we actually try and conserve our decisions for things that matter. And sometimes jam, well, jam's just jam. So people don't want to be forced into using their precious decision-making capacity to choose jam. The less is more approach is already working for Tesco. They haven't reduced their range to the extremes of the discounters, but have taken nearly 20% of products off the shelf. And they've seen their market share rise for the first time in five years. In a supermarket war, sometimes stealing your rival's strategy is the way to succeed. Um, um. 